I was inspired by this documentary that Peter Jackson did about soldiers during the trench warfare period in uh, World War One. In the documentary itself, it shows the transition from like black and white speed up footage and then slowly the transition into colour. Like, that's incredible, you know. Colouring helps to bring the person to life in many ways. Once you colour them, they're like, hey, they're just like us, you know. We, we are in colour as well, right? And the pictures we see today are in colour. So how are they any different from us? It's just the time that is the difference. Colouring itself is not a difficult issue because you just have to trace where their face is. The hard part is when you have to take into account many variables. So when it comes to portraits, right, you have to look at skin from a very practical perspective. A face has blood, like say on the cheeks. The nose will have some veins of blood as well. The ears will have blood as well. Afterwards, um, the colour the lips, it's a different colour. That's one of the hardest. Because you add too much pink, it look too off, and it looks very thick, it's like lipstick. And then if you do it too dark, it doesn't look like actual like uh, lips. And then with the different colour tones, you gotta adjust the opacity of each of them. There's no fixed way I have to work. That's with every subject is there's no fixed colour. When I searched through the colorization of the community itself uh, on Reddit, uh, I realized that everything was done on Western culture, Western world. So I'm thinking nobody has done uh, Singapore. So it would be interesting to see some uh, local figures or people from the past in color. You know, in my opinion, it's not very nice to just uh, colorize historical things uh, as, as and when like for example, uh, things that have already been researched on, uh, you don't really go uh, distort it, distort the colour by colourising it any colour. As a colourisation artist, you should try to get your historical facts as accurate as possible. So, it's not actually meant to replace uh, the black and white photos, but as it's a form of complements the black and white photos. Uh.